Okay, and we're live and recording. Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, as you know, I'm Yehuda Ben Moshe, and this is Armory 104, which is the um, class on how to do conflict checking using the ordinary. Um, for those of you watching on YouTube, if you have not seen my previous videos, I highly recommend that you take a look at them. This class is going to assume that you know uh, the SCA conflict rules. It's going to assume that you know the charge group theory rules, which uh, you can't really um, do charge group uh, do conflict without doing charge group theory. So, um, with that in mind, uh, let's get started. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Armory 104, as we said, uh, and um, I mentioned the prerequisites. You should know how to do blazon, how to charge group theory, conflict checking rules. Uh, encourage you to have looked at Armory 103. And the important part of Cena for this class is Cena A5. That's the conflict rules. Now, we covered the actual rules in the last class in Armory 103. Now we're going to talk about how to actually apply them, how to do something useful with those rules. Um, the assumption that we that coming into this class is that you know uh, how to um, take a, uh, how to compare two pieces of Armory. The question is now, what do we? How do we find what we are comparing to? And we're going to start with a very brief review. Uh, so the thing to remember is, you always want to look for substantial changes first before you start counting DCs, because you only need one substantial change. And as we get into the material, you'll see why it's so important to work off substantial changes. So this is the review of the last class. The things that that will give you a substantial change is type, number, arrangement, and posture orientation of the primary charge group only. Not of secondaries, not of tertiaries, not of overalls, not of fields. Primary charge group, type, number, arrangement, posture. Also adding or removing a primary charge group. Um, but you can almost think of that as, a, as part of type. Any two DCs will clear a device. Um, you can get a DC for field. Remember, you only get a maximum one DC for field. You can get a DC for adding or removing a charge group, changing the tincture within a charge group, type, number, arrangement, and posture orientation. You can get these for any charge group. Unlike the substantial, this applies to all of the other charge groups as well as to the primary. The important thing to remember is you generally can only get one DC for each one of these per charge group. So if you uh, change, you can't have two type DCs, for example, for the same charge group. You have two type DCs for two different charge groups. There's a lot of noise in somebody's microphone feed. Uh, it sounds like dishes clanking or something. If you could mute uh, your mic when not talking, that would be good, or close the door or whatever. Thank you. All right. Um, so where do we go for, um, for doing a conflict check? Um, all of the SCA registered armory and names as well, but this is an armory class, are located in the database known as the Ordinary and Armorial. Um, it's located at oanda.sca.org, uh, and it has lots of different ways to search. We're going to use the, what's called the Index of the Ordinary. Uh, let me uh, pull that up. So, we go to... I'll be switching between PowerPoint and a and uh, a browser a lot in this presentation. Oanda.sca.org, and this is what it looks like. Now, what we have here is a bunch of different search types that are useful for various different reasons, but the ones we want is right here where it says online SCA ordinary. I don't know if you can see my mouse moving, but it's below number six. It's not any of the numbered ones. It's below number six. Uh, and when we get there, we get an index with um, with letters. So, a um, a word of warning. Uh, 
Do not use the blazon pattern search for conflict checking. You will miss conflicts that way. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this item right here, number four, blazon patterns, pattern search form. Oops. Uh, okay, do not conflict check with it. Um, and I'll explain why. What's it there for? It, it has its uses. I use it a lot when I'm using the complex search form to find what I'm looking for. But here's the problem. Um, the problem with it is it's a simple text search. If you have, you know, if you want to search for blazons that have the word dog in it, you type in dog, you'll get everything with the word dog in it. Here's the problem. If, we're, if you're looking to do a conflict ser search on a dog, dogs conflict with dogs, but they also conflict with talbots and wolves and greyhounds and foxes and a million other things. So if you just type in dog, you're going to miss all those other ones. So either you have to figure out the every conceivable variation that conflicts with dog, every canine that's ever been registered, which, trust me, you're going to miss something because somebody will have registered, you know, a Malamute or something, you know, or something with a Latin binomial in the early days of society. Um, and that's the problem. What it's very useful for is if you want to find... Um, how something is phrased. You want to see, all right, I can't remember postures for a dolphin. All right, let me search on dolphin and I'll find a bunch of things and see how what postures were used. And then you can go and start research from there. So it's not that it has no uses, it's just it's not a conflict checking tool. Okay, the only ways that you should be doing conflict checking is using the ordinary index, which is what we're going to discuss today, and using the complex search form, which is the topic of armory 201, I believe, which will come out when I get it recorded. So, the pro here's the process that we use for conflict checking. The first thing you want to do is take your device, the one you're conflict checking, and identify all of the charge groups in it, including all of the details of those charge groups that might be worth a DC. Now, if you look at uh, experienced heralds, uh, some people say, I can't believe how fast you're conflict checking. Well, the reason for it is that this first step, which is absolutely vital, with experience we do it in our heads very quickly. But when you're starting, write it out, or at least think it out. Get this identification process going, and I'll show you the format I recommend. Once we've identified all the charge groups, the next step we do is we figure out what kind of devices can't possibly conflict. Because here's the thing. We don't want to look through every registered item in the ordinary. Right? We want to be able to rule out things that we don't. We know 100% we never have to look at. So that's step two. And step three is we find those categories in the ordinary that might conflict, and then we go through and hand check. So the better these things flow into one another. So let's take a look at a sample device. Somebody give me a blazon for this. That's... A lion rampant, or no wait, fur pale. Face first. Azure Field first, good. Azure and ghouls, a lion, or and a chief with a density. Invected. Invected, okay. And a chief. No, I'm sorry, not invected. Indented. Indented. A chief indented. Uh, Three, 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 escallops, ghouls. Exactly. Wouldn't it be a, uh, a, a lion rampant? Or, okay. it, it is a lion rampant, but in Blazon, we drop that because rampant is the default. Oh, okay. And that's actually very important. When you're blazoning, you generally try to use all of your defaults and skip words. You know, We don't say a lion or. We skip the or, right, because we just put the or after the chief. And we know, right, it's not a lion or and a chief or. It's a lion and a chief or. Okay. Because we try to write quick, concise, elegant blaze. When you're identifying your groups, you want to spell everything out. Because you want to keep in, your, in mind that this is a lion rampant. Because if you're, con if you're checking against some other kind of lion, you may or may not get a DC or an SC. So spell out, when you're doing that first step, the identifying groups and their characteristics, spell out the defaults. So, oh, back up. what's the field? 
Somebody tell me what the field is. Okay, I'll ask your red Good. Anything else you can tell me about the field that might be worth a DC? Um, what kind of line of division is that? It's a, it's a plain line of division. It's a plain line. So if we had something that wasn't a plain line, would that be worth a DC? Yes. yes yeah. So the field is propel Azure and Ghouls with a plain line. Right? Because if we're when we're conflicting checking, if we're finding something with a jagged line or a wavy line or whatever, that's a DC. Okay, this is what I said about spell out the defaults, because you know, plain line's the default, right? But but spell it out. All right, what's the primary charge group? The lion. The lion. What can you tell me about the lion? Tell me everything you can tell me about the lion that might be worth a DC or an SC. It's rapid and it's and it's and it's too dexter, but it's good. We won't have to specify to dexter because we assume to dexter. Yeah, and you know what? When you that. when I click the next slide, you'll see that I forgot to specify to dexter. That, but how you're correct. It, it is it? rampant to dexter. How about its uh, tincture being or? Yeah, that that's imp that's one. What else? How many of them? One. Yeah, there's one. one of them. One. Okay, so the primary charge group is a lion. There's one of it. It's or and it's rampant to Dexter. Okay. Okay. What's the secondary charge group? It's the chief. It's the chief. So tell me everything about the chief that that could give us a DC. In it's or and it's indented. And it's indented. And there's also only one of it. Now I've never seen two chiefs, but you know, maybe you can have two bars. Maybe you can have two chiefs. I don't know. Chief one or an indented line of division. Okay. How about the tertiary charge group? What's that? Three uh, scallops. Scallops. Ghouls. Ghouls. Anything I'm else? I remember if that is the standard form for a scallop, or if they're normally drawn right side up. This is the right side up. This is the default position. Okay. Now, if we turn the scallop upside down, would that be worth a DC? Yes, because it's inverted at that point. Is it a compact charge or a long charge? It's the compact charge. Yeah, compact charges don't have orientations. Okay. Because they're so small, you can't tell at a distance. Yeah, because the, it, it's not really enough. Now, I may be wrong on this. You know, scallops may be an exception, but I would bet that uh, I didn't look up the rule on a scallops. But I'd be willing to bet that it's not worth a DC. I'm um, almost certain it's not worth a DC, just because from farther away you won't be able to see that. Yeah. How about arrangement? How are they arranged? Um, if a row is. I knew I should have printed a cheat sheet. <laughs> <laughs> I remember all the visuals. Well, they're, all the words. they're not in chief. They're on a chief. On a chief. But, but they're in a horizontal row, right? Which means they're on that chief in fess. Could you have them in pale? Could you have three tiny ones, one on top of the other? You could. It would be hideous, but you could yeah. do it. And that would be worth a DC for arrangement. So what we can tell about the tertiary charge group is it's in a scallop. There's three of them, ghouls and in fess. Now, there's a reason I'm writing these out like this, and that's because I want you to think of them in these, in this way. The reason I want you to start thinking of them in this way is because when you get to complex, uh, to the complex search form, that's how you code the stuff. Okay, the the rows there. So, do these two conflict? No. Why not? Primary. Uh, you remove the prince primary charge. And that's right. What it, but Absolutely right. Okay. Cena A five E one adding or removing primary charge group. So what does that tell us? It tells us that if we compare our device to any device without a primary charge, we know it's clear, right? Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we've just ruled out every device that's field primary. Every device that doesn't have a primary charge group, we don't even need to look at. We know it's clear. Okay? How about this? It's replaced the char primary charge group. But it's replaced it with an atom an object which makes it completely clear. Clear, yeah. yeah. Complete line and the anchor. Yeah. Complete change in type of primary charge group. Cena A5, E2. So what does this tell us about what we can not bother checking? We can not bother checking everything but lions. We've just eliminated 90% of the 
uh, of all the registered devices, right? Right. Anything that doesn't have a primary line, we don't care about. It can't possibly conflict. We don't care what its field is. We don't care whether there's chiefs. We don't care about anything. If there's no line in the middle, it's not a conflict. And we can eliminate two lines and three lines also. Well, you're one slide ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> and why is that clear? Because substantial change in number, right? One, two, three, four, many. Right? You get a DC for up to six, but you only get substantial change up to three. So CNA 5E3, substantial change in number, which means we can eliminate anything with more than one line. Or really more than one, anything else, but we've already eliminated everything else. How about this? Are these clear? No. And you, if they weren't lions, they wouldn't be because they're both cats. Well, what are the postures? Lion rampant and... Kushant. 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 And they're, in, they're in different groups of posture. They're, they're, there's actually a substantial change for posture. Remember, that's one of our four substantial changes, posture orientation. So this wouldn't be a DC. I this mean, a, be, this uh, is an SC. This okay. Is a substantial yeah. conflict. A substantial change. The substantial changes basically require you to change the major axis of the critter. So the rampant line is more or less vertical. The Kushant line is more or less horizontal. That's a substantial change. Okay, it's all now clear. So what does that tell us? Now we've just eliminated every line that's not rampant, or rampant equivalent, like salient or, uh, ir or erect. Say John, say John is in the vertical category, too. Uh, I would have to look it up, but uh, I'm pretty sure I believe it, it may be. How about this? Is this clear? I want to say no. yes because of the line. No, uh, the, no. no you, just, you just changed the field to get one point for, for that. Yeah, just one DC for the field. Right? If you changed, oh, say, the middle scallops color, then it would be fine. Yeah, well, we got to do more than just change the field, right? How about these two? Are they clear here? No, because yeah, no, it's only one color change. Why, why, we've changed the, the tincture of of a secondary charge, 1DC, not clear. How about now? You re you've removed the tertiary. That's that's just one, well, that's just one two also. Yeah. I think. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That's just one. Just 1DC for removing a tertiary charge group or any other charge group other than primary. How about this one? You change the color of the primary. That's that's just one change too. That's just one change. The oh, really the only thing that you most things that you do to the primary get you an SC. Tincture is not one of them. Okay. Okay. So we can't rule out non-yellow lines. Right? We have to look at all color lines. Right. We can rule out non-rampant lines. We can rule out more than one line, but we can't rule out other colored lines. Well, wait, so wait, wait a second. You, you would have... Oh, okay. okay. You, you, you'd have to change the... If, you'd have, if, you, make the, if you make the lions anything, any color other than or, or, or argent, you'd have to change the field. Right. So you'd be able, to, be able to get your two points that way. Right, but that's not what... We're not looking for how to clear a device right now. What we're doing right now is trying to figure out which categories of stuff can we just ignore completely, not even oh, bother okay. to look at. So we can ignore non-lions. We can ignore multiple lines. We cannot ignore white lions or blue lions or red lions. We have to dig deeper in those categories. Okay? So what does all this tell? What's the conclusion that we draw? Where any device that's not a line is clear, any device that has more than one primary charge is clear. Any device that's not a rampant or equivalent lion is clear. So what we want to do is we always want to focus on the primary charge. Okay, we can go into the ordinary and start looking at the field or start looking at a scallops. But why? All right, suppose we find a hundred shields that are blue and for pale blue and red. Unless they're lions, we don't care about them. They're not a conflict. 
So we always want to focus on the primary charge uh, when we're conflict checking. Uh, Yehuda? Yeah. I hate to beat a dead horse here, but you keep saying not a lion, and it really should be not a cat. You're correct. Absolutely right. But you will see how we take care of that in a minute. You're absolutely right. So, the person with the lion if we're going to be char checking this, um, we would go into our uh, ordinary. Right? Everyone should see the... Uh, there we go. So that you can kind of see both. Ah, it's not right. Okay, and we'll go to the online SCA ordinary, and we know we're interested in lions, right? So we go to L, and we scroll down to lion. And it'll say C cat. And it'll say C beast dash cat. Okay, so I don't need to remember that lions conflict with every other cat. It there's my reminder. So if I click on beast-cat, it'll take me to the B section. And now I'm going to open this up a bit. Look at all these cats. Beast-cat-1-argent-kushant. Beast-cat-1-argent-passant. So let's think about which categories we need to check. Do we need to check beast-cat-1-argent-kushant? No, because no. it's or. No. 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 Not because it's or. Remember, oh, we wait. can't rule out by color. Color. So Kushad. Well, we can ignore Kushad and pa Passant because they're a different posture. Right. Now, do we have to change our uh, Argent Rampant? Yes. No. Yeah. 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 We have to check Argent Rampant because that's not if that's not an automatic SC, right? Mm -hmm. Tincture is not an SC. We've got to look in that category, and as long as we can find any other DC. We're good, but we've got to find one more DC. We have one for Argent, but we've got to find one more. Now, Sijan. Right. So, so we can just start off by looking for the field under that category. Yeah, we, we absolutely could. So, and that's, so let's click on it. So we only have 172 items in here. Easy. Right? Right, so, but, but it has to be per, it has to be per, per exactly. pale, Azure, and Ghoul. Exactly. So these are alphabetical by Blazon which is very convenient because all these field lists, origins, we can ignore. We can scroll down until we get to per pale, per pale, Azure and Argent, Azure and Argent, Azure and Sable, Azure and Vert, Azure and Or, Ghouls and Azure, Ghouls and Azure. Hey, guess what? There's not a single line in this category that's on an Azure and Ghouls field. We're done. That category is clear. Did everyone follow that? Yeah. Okay, moving on. Sejant. Well, I don't remember about Sejant. So, Sina to the rescue. We will go to Sina. It's going Kushant to be... Is a, is it, is Kushant is in a different category. A5, E5. Uh, and we look. Rampant, Sagrian, Salian, Sejant direct, Sejant. No Sejant. SC. Sejant. Yeah. Oh, it would be Sejant. Okay. Sejant. Yeah. Okay. So we've got to look at Sejan. I'm not going to look through all of these because there's so many lines that if we start looking at all the lines, we'll be here forever. We're going to practice this with simpler examples. I just want you to see the logic. So we would need to check this category. We would need to check Sejan. Now, Cat 1 Azure. There's just not enough Azure Cats for them to bother breaking them up, which means we've got to check them, right? Because Tincture is not enough. Furs, Ghouls, Multicolor. All of those we've got to check. Oh, but, we, but we can ignore one cat, Azure, because it wouldn't have contrast with the field. Um, true. That, that's true. Well, yeah, you're correct. Because the field is all, is all color right now, we can ignore metal, field, metal ones. You're absolutely correct. We can ignore uh, all metal fields. Um, we can ignore Azure because it's, there has to be either a neutral or metal field, which means we know we get a DC for field. Good point. Uh, fur, we can't rule out. Multicolor, we can't rule out because we don't know what those are. Then we get into our ores. We can ignore Kushant. We can ignore Passant. We've got to check Rampant and Sijant. Okay, skipping ahead a little bit. Do we need to check Cat 2? No. No. Do we need to check Cat 3? No. no. All right, we've got about five categories that we need to check. Okay, every other, everything that's not in one of those five or six categories cannot possibly be a conflict. And that's the most important thing to this. Because realistically, you can take the ONA, start at the beginning and go to the end and hand check every single device. 
there's only like 70,000. Okay, the goal here is to eliminate as much as we possibly can. Okay, so let's bring, let's, we're not actually going to do the cats because they're comp there's too many of them. Let's do some practice. Somebody blaze on this. Okay. Per van, per van argent and or a, ca a, a castle, a, 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 a tower goals. Yeah. And architecture is architecture, so well, it'll... it'll yeah, I don't know if architecture is architecture, but towers and castles are definitely uh, in conflict. Well, okay, architecture is ar I'm pretty sure architecture is architecture. You may, you may be right. Stuff. I haven't looked it up. But if you put it up against like a bridge or something, maybe there's a DC. I don't know. Definitely not against a castle. Okay, ca ca castles and towers are the same. Yes, absolutely. So, tell me about the field, somebody. Right there. It has a straight line and not a wavy line. line. Yes. So per band or yeah. or plain line. Uh, how about the primary charge group? It would be the tower, one, and argent. Uh, oh, I mean, cool. Yeah. Um, we can add pale vise, probably. I didn't. You could, you know, because I guess theoretically you could have a horizontal tower. Um, any other charges? <laughs> charge groups? No. No, that's it. Okay. So, how do we start uh, conflict checking this? Well, Where do we, we go first? It'll be under architecture. Well, if we could go, we could go to the index and look at our for tower. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's go to tower. Under T. Tower. C castle. All right. Let's see castle. Yeah. Hey, look at all these castles. We have castle, sole primary. All right, some terms of art. Sole primary means just that. You have a single primary charge. Group primary means the castle is part of a primary charge group that has more than one uh, charge. Might be a second castle, might be something else. Do we need to look right. at group primary? Nope. No, we don't. Now, do we need to? Now, here we also have castle as a secondary and tertiary charge. We're not interested. We're only interested in a primary castle. Right? Because we yep. it's primary here. Mm -hmm. So, under sole primary, do we need to check all these colors? We have to check a whole bunch of them because colors co co colors don't clear things by exactly. themselves. All. Okay. So, as Solvik pointed out with the cats, can we ignore or? Yes. Yes. And we can also ignore... Um, Argent. 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 Yeah. Absolutely. So let's start. We're gonna go to Azure because that. Well, let's start with ghouls. Cause, so with ghouls, now we we know we need. By the way, I just want to point something out as a preview of next class. If you look up here, it says Armory Description Search for. Armory Description is a specific internal coding system, which is what we use for complex search forms. See, it says Enter Description Castle colon Ghouls colon Soul Primary. That looks an awful lot like the way we encode our lines here, right? Tower, primary, tower, one, ghouls. Notice that? Yeah. That's where the that's the coding. That's what you'll be using in complex search for. That's why I want you to start thinking in this way. All right. So let's take a look. Fieldless, a tower, ghouls. How many DCs? We've lost the video. Oh. Oh, I have. You guys, Connell? Oh, uh, that was a conflict, you said. It would be one DC because... Oh, there it is. Wouldn't it be between the field list and the... Uh, uh, the field, 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 list, yeah, field Between the field list and the field on that. Yeah. Look at that. Our first hit is a first conflict. Hit. We're done, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we're not because you want to find all the conflicts. Because if you're doing... You know, if you're doing this um, for in a consultation, take a look. When was that registered? Oh, that's February 2014. That's a recent registration. Maybe we can find the person and get a permission to conflict. Well, it's a group. Still, maybe they'll give us permission to conflict. You know, if this was a person registered from 1978, I wouldn't bother looking for a letter of permission. 
You know, the odds would be very slim. Second, if you're doing this in Oscar and commentary, if this gets re is being returned, we want to list every conflict. Because if that person wants to go chase uh, uh, letters of permission or wants to know how to clear the conflict, we want to tell him all the possible conflicts, not just, uh, not just the first one we hit. So let's keep going. How about this next one? Fieldless on a castle ghouls a griffin sagreant or... On a castle, so it's one DC from the primary charge? Nope. Castle and tower is the same. No DC with between the, towers. With the griffin, it's one step, though, right? Yeah. yeah. So here's how I do this. I start reading the blazon, and I stop when I hit two DCs. Now, field this. There's one DC. On right. a castle. I'm done. I don't care what's on a castle, right? Anything on a castle is going to clear it. Because if something is on the castle, that means there's a tertiary charge, and that's my second DC. That makes sense? Yes. Okay. okay. Now, what if we're doing a consult, and we're, we're at this point trying to help them figure out a way of avoiding conflict? Well, then we start thinking. So that'll be my next slide, but let's finish conflict checking this one. Okay. okay. So, I mean, you can stop. If you're doing a consult, you can stop there and say, okay, what do we do? Well... We can put a chief on it. We can put a bordure on it. We can put, you know, a tertiary charge on it. Once they decide what they like to put on it, then you go back and conflict check again. But, uh, you know, but you still... Right now we're doing an exercise, so we just want to find every conflict for this. All right. Fieldless on a tower. I'm done. Why am I done? Because of the, uh, the field and the tower being two. Yeah, I know there's some kind of turn. Fieldless on a tower. Done. Argent, a friendly castle. I'm not sure what a friendly castle is opposed to an unfriendly castle is, but hey, it's a 1983 registration. Argent, that's one DC. A friendly castle ghouls. Well, I don't think friendly gets us a DC. In chief, all right, I'm done. There's something else in chief. Do I care that it's a cat's face? No, no. it's a thing. All right. Um, Connell, why don't you try the next one? Same way. Argent, a tower okay, ghoul. No, call the DC when you hit it. Argent, one DC. A, a tower, done. Well, is Argent a tower of the ghouls clear? No. 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 So we'll keep looking for the second DC. In base. In the base. Okay, I, you're, you've skipped one ahead of me, but that's fine. So the moment I see in base, I know there's something else going on, right? Yeah. That's how I do it. You know, we skip John of Kylie Tor. Argent, a, Argent, one DC. A ruined tower ghouls, mm, probably not a DC. In chief, done. There's our second DC. Uh, Thor, you want to try Uther Blackthorn? Let's see. Argent, so there's one DC. A tower ghouls between, and then there's something else in there, yeah. so it's not a yeah. conflict. Okay. Um, do you want to try Border Keep, Solvik? Can I even read it? Let's see. Argent, a tower ghouls. Issue one from my issue. Okay, so that takes care of us We're because it, one for Argent, yeah, one from whatever the heck it's issued from. It's a DC, mm -hmm. and that's this is how we do it fast, because you once you get in the habit of it, you can just find those DCs as fast as you go. Really, I'm not even looking at the first DC. I'm skipping over the field because I know until I get down to per bend, none of there's my first DCs. The field, right? Right. I can't skip like we did before because I've got to find a second DC. So, uh, Connell, do Rudolph, please. Argent, a tower ghouls within a board, or would be one, I would imagine. Well, Argent was one, right? Right. But within the board of being the other that's, one. That's the second one, yeah. Um, sorry, you want to take fourth castle? Uh, Argent, so that's one. A tower ghouls within a laurel wreath. It's automatically canceled yeah. to the laurel wreath. All right. How about uh, Shire, Isles of, Shire of the Isles? Uh, solve it. You can do both of them. Okay. Bar see, very wavy. Argent and Azure. The tower ghouls. No, that, that's... How did they manage to, manage to re register that? That's bar, 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 wavy, Argent and Azure sounds like the, the field... At yeah. Tower Ghouls, that that that, sh that should conflict with the fieldless guy. Yeah, except it's the same registration. It's Shire oh, okay. of the Isles. Oh, same okay. People. So they gave themselves permission to conflict. Yeah. Yeah, but is that a conflict? Yeah. Sure is. 
pure is, right? We get one for the field. Remember, no matter how complicated the field, you only ever get one DC for the field. Um, how about the next uh, Shire of the Isles? Still so Okay. Same thing. Very, very wavy origin in Azure, a tower with, with, within. So that within gives us a second guy. Right. So we're in conflict with both badges of Shire of the Isles. Um, take the next one, Connie. Well, uh, that, no, we're not in conflict with our second badge, just our first badge. Well, the first badge was at the beginning, the field, this one. The right, second right. badge the one, is this one. Right. Way, way back not, in the beginning, yeah. Yeah. Um, Cheeky. Uh, yeah, Cheeky, Arjun, and Sable. There's one. A tower inflamed in Sinister. Uh, I think that would be the second one. Yeah. I, inflaming usually doesn't give us a DC, but we don't care because there's that Maltese cross hanging out in Sinister Canton, right? Right. Done. Uh, Thori, how about Edwin Fitzloyd? Uh, Ermin is the first one, and I'm not quite sure what Chasse... Chasse Raguli is. is a really weird field division, and you can look it up at some point, but it's part of the field division. Okay. And the Tower Ghouls, so that would also be in conflict. That's also in conflict. Now, how did they? How did Edwin Fitzloyd register versus Isle, Shire of the Isles? I have no idea. Could be a letter of permission. Could be old rules. This is a 1985 registration. Uh, Somebody 83. could have missed a conflict. Somebody could have missed a conflict check. We don't know. Sometimes you wonder. Sometimes you're sitting there going, huh? Once, but once registered, always registered. So, um, solid. Can you do Baldwin? Let's see if I can read Baldwin. Uh, oops, it's it's gone away. I can't see it. Uh, right there. No. No, I'm just seeing a picture of you. Oh, that's strange. Is, Is everyone else seeing a picture of me? Or? No, I still got the uh, uh, your your normal. Right. Let me reset the screen share. I think that's a connectivity issue, solving. All right. Um, Okay, Baldwin, Baldwin, Baldwin yeah. uh, something or other, check it, Ragwood, Ragwood. No, was no, it? Baldwin Finarsen, Gyrony Purpurin or a castle within a Bordeaux group. Oh, oh, okay, Gyrony Purpurin or a castle within, within, within the border gives us the second yeah. guy. All right, Connell, why don't you do the next one, and then I think we will skip a bit. Or a semi of thistles would be the one. A tower of ghouls within a border. Back, back, back up, back up. Or what's the field here? Or. Okay. What's a semi of thistles? Is that part of the field? Part of the field, yeah. No, it's a secondary charge group. Strewn oh. charges. They're just listed at the beginning because they're weird. Okay. We're done. Or semi of something. We're done. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. I want to skip out of this because, you know, there's 70 of them and we don't need to reach all of them. Let's take a look at Argent. Okay? So the first thing we need to remember, this, and this is a good example because this is what Solvig said. Um, if the tower is, I'm sorry, not Argent, uh, Azure. Um, if the tower is Azure, that's 1DC. We're coming into this with 1DC. So, do we need to even bother reading these fieldless ones? No. No. Okay, do we need to read these Argent ones? No. No. In fact, we can skip to, until we get to per bend. Hey, guess what? No per bend. No conflicts yeah. here. Okay. Let's take a look at fur. There's three of them, right? Azure, clear, per bend, Argent and Azure, not what we have. Vert, we're done. Some of these categories go fast, right? Some of them you have to take slow. There's a reason I didn't want to do cats, because there's like 200 or cats, you know. Um, but this is what this is the process. You go through one uh, at a time, and the better you get at identifying the characteristics, the charge groups and their characteristics, and eliminating things, the, the faster you will go. Is there any, you know? As the Solvig pointed out, it can't possibly be Argent, right? Because the field will have changed. Now, can you can we still check Argent? Sure. We're just wasting time. You know, we're, we're not going to get it wrong, because nothing in there can possibly conflict. But this is about efficiency. Okay? The, this is not just about knowing the rules. It's also about using them efficiently. 
Because if we did, you know, if we had all the time in the world, then you know, start with A and go through the whole ordinary. You know, most of us don't have that kind of time. Um, so let's go back over here and try. And now we've we've got a conflict, right? We're at our consult. We've got a conflict. We talk to our, our client, and he says, "You know what? Let's try that." Somebody blazes in it. For Ben or in Argent. Uh, a tower or ghouls and chief uh, a tower and chief ghouls. Yeah, it's except a, it's, it's Argent and Or, not Or yeah. and Argent. Yeah, you had the field tinctures reversed, but that's okay. So Argent and Or, tower and chief ghouls. So describe the field, somebody. Per per band Argent and Or. Plain with, line. with a plain line. Yeah. How about the primary plain. charge group? Still castle. And it's still yeah, ghouls. Still one, and it's still there's still only one of them. How about the secondary? That would be the Second. chief. chief, plain line uh, ghouls. Yeah, there's also only one of them, but you know whatever. Um, so, how would we conflict check this? Well, do we? L let me rephrase the question. When we're conflict checking this, are we doing it any differently than the last one? Not really. Yeah, not really. No. Same primary charge, right? Remember, we always conflict check based on the primary charge. Same primary, exact primary charge group. we got to do the same thing. So let's dive back into ghouls, and let's start with our field of our ghouls. Is that still a conflict? No. No. Now, we got to go a little bit slower now, because we can't just say, oh, there's something else, because we've got to pause and look for that chief. So, but anything not a chief, it's clear. Uh, now, uh, you cannot just check the ones we found because adding a chief may have created new conflicts. Because remember, we were ignoring anything that said, you know, next to and under and within. Well, what if one of those things was a chief? Right. right. Well, could, could, we, could we use the search feature inside the browser and just search for chief? Well, but we don't want to find the one. Uh, uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, we absolutely could. I'm sorry. Uh, I had that back to me. Yeah. And uh, I was going to show that on the next slide, but we can show it now. And that's exactly right. Um, that works better in the other colors, because there, if we don't have a chief, we know it's clear. But we can start off by, we can compare the chief to a field. So if, we, if I hit Control F and type in chief, let me show you what I mean. So in chief, a cat's face. That's not a chief, right? What's, what else have we got? In chief stuff, that's not a chief. And because it's Argent here, we know we've got at least one DC, right? So we've got one for Argent and one because it's not a chief. And everything that we've skipped over is fieldless and not a chief. Right. It's, it's a different field and not a chief. Argent, in chief, some stuff. Clear. Argent, on a chief, sable. Okay. So this has a chief. Is it clear? Sure. Yeah. yeah. In a laurel wreath, yes. Argent one within a laurel wreath two. Also some three towers on the. Also, on the also the chief is sable. And the chief there's is, a lot of different. Yeah. So again, remember this is about finding potential conflicts. So the search is not finding us certain conflicts. It's letting us skip anything that's definitely not a conflict. Okay. Next. How about that one? Or a tower, and okay, the field's different. Our tur we we have a different number for the tertiary. I, I think our tertiaries are. We we now have added tertiaries. So We've now added tertiary. Yeah. One for the field, one for the three estuaries. Or. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Connell, take this one. One for the field, and one for the. The line division. Yeah, well, the the division, the the uh, the chief. Yeah, the chief is in battle. Yeah. Right. It's also a different color, and it's also got a saltier on it. But we can stop at in battle. Absolutely. How about this one? Uh, Thori, take this one. Her chevron will give you your first. Uh, Tarl ghouls within a laurel wreath will give you your second, and we're, we're done. And yeah. we don't care. Now, the one th doing this, what I will now go do is I will look for per bend 
argent and or, because those might still conflict even if it do, they don't have a chief. Because what if it had? If what if it was exactly this charge, but instead of a chief ghouls, it had a bordeur ghouls? Would that be a conflict? There's one do you see for the tertiary and no, there's no tertiary. Uh, back it up. What tertiary? Oh, right. I'm thinking. Per, compare this to Perbend, Argent, and Or, a tower, and a Bordure ghouls. That would only be one. One. One for type of secondary, right? Correct. Right. Oh. So we would miss that. Now, why was it okay to do Control F? Because as long as the field is different, that's one DC, and anything other than a chief is a guaranteed second. But we've got to go back and look at the field to see if there's anything else. Now, as it happens, there are no per-band Argent and Ghoul, and or there's actually no per-bands at all. So we're good. So it's clear in this category. Uh, I'm not going to run through every category. I can tell you that I've conflict checked this one, and it's clear. So if anyone wants to register that device, it's available. Um, let's move on. How about this? Arch and three axis ax ghouls. Yeah, what real simple one. Fieldless? No, this is Argent. Okay. I mean, fieldless would kind of look the same, right? Usually fieldless is their badges, so they're in a square. It's hard to tell because my background is white. You know, it, that, that's... Uh, I guess there's kind of a trick question there. It, it's meant to be Argent, I will tell you this. Um, all right, so tell me about the field. Argent. Just Argent. Yeah, that's the way yeah, nothing else. Um, how about uh, primary charge group? Three axes. Three axes. What color are they? Cool. Oh, what arrangement are they in? Uh, two and one. Two and one, which two is one. a standard arrangement, not needing to be. Uh, right, it's a standard uh, arrangement. We don't have to blaze on it, but is that does that give us DCs if we need them? Possibly. Possibly, yes, so we want to mention it. How about orientation? They are facing to Dexter, pale wise. so... No, they're pale-wise. They're pale-wise, they're too Dexter, and the, sh the head is to Chief. Uh, I would say it's pale-wise to Chief. Whether reversing them, Dexter Sinister, would give us a DC, I don't know, because it's a long, skinny charge. Long, skinny charges don't always give you one. But turning it upside down sure would. So, primary charge group, axe, three, ghouls, palewise, two chief, two and one. Those are our uh, things to poke, to poke at. So, where do we start looking? Under axes. axes. Under What's axes. Under? Exactly. Oh. There we go. See axe. Okay. So, we go to A, we go down to X. Actually, there was a whole bunch of things and that said CX right at the beginning. Yeah, but here's our axes. So, do we need to check X1? No. Nope. Okay. The answer is yes, and I will get explain why in a couple of slides. So, for now, we're going to ignore X1. Do we need to check X2? Same answer. Yes, but and I will explain why later. But let's focus on acts three or more. Okay. All right now, notice they're not broken up by color or by anything else because there aren't that many of them. There's only mm -hmm. seventy-five. Seventy-five. But we don't have to check acts two or acts three because that's a, a substantial change of number. Yes. Less but however, there's it's not quite that straightforward. Let me get back to that later in the slide because I have an example that specifically addresses why we do have to check X1 and 2. Well, let's, let's finish uh, X3 for now. So, okay. all right. So let's start. Fieldless. There's one DC. In cross, four X. I'm done. There's four of them. Right? Remember, this is three or more category. So, uh, Thori, take Klaus von Trollenberg. Uh, fieldless, that's one. Actually, no, it wouldn't be. Uh, no, wait, fieldless does count as an automatic DC. Yeah. Yes, that's the first one. And then two axes, that's your second DC. Yeah. So, can we just do control F for the word three and do it that way? Yeah. No, because it might say something like 
an axe per pur and an and two axes argent. Okay, so this would be better to go. This right one back. I would go. Th yeah, I would go through this one because numbers are funny. Because uh, you might get something like, uh, let's see if there's an example. Uh, I don't know if we'll find a good example of this here. Um, imagine something like um, two, uh, you know, per chevron, two axes ghouls and one x argent. Right? Might get blazoned that way. It's not elegant, but it's might. We can't count on the word three always being there. So we got to do this one manually. Uh, Solvi, you want to take Alaric Bearstalker? Alaric. Can I, can I read? Can I actually read? Argent, a bear rampant well, sable. Stop. stop. What's the first thing we always blazon? The primary he's charge. Got, he, he, he has say that's, that's, the, that's the primary charge. It's, it's, got a bear. it's primary charge is a bear. We're done. We don't care what else is going on. Remember, just because this category includes any device that has three or more axes in it. doesn't mean they're primary. They might be secondary or tertiary or overall or semi of axes or whatever. So, um, Connell, David X. Argent, that would be the first one. Uh, uh, Paul inverted. Stop. Done. Right? Paul is a Paul is a central ordinary. It's our primary church group. Uh, Thori, Gregor Sons Sundenstead. Uh, Argent, a saltier for me vert. Would be first between four axes. There's our second. Back it up. What's a saltier? It's an ordinary. Yeah. Is it a, is yeah. it our primary charge group? It's your primary charge. Stop as soon what as the cross. <laughs> Huh? Right, that's the cross. Yeah. How about uh, Solvig? How about Jacques? Cold Jacques, or Jacques. An ancient, whatever it is, it's it's, it's, it's also an orchid. It, we're, we're done. Yeah. Um, Connell? Argent, Argent for one, and I ghouls for two. Yeah, or just substantial change. Mm -hmm. uh, Thori, Hengist. Uh, Argent for one, three X's ghouls, not yet. Halfs, cross, impal, inverted, sable. Yes, that'll do it because of the orientation. Yeah. So that's clear. One for the field, one for the arrangement. And orient well, arrangement and orientation. Paul and two and one really with three charges are really the same arrangement. But w because their halfs are crossed, that's the orientation of each charge. So it's, it's more orientation than arrangement. Either way, that's a DC. Probably not an SC, but definitely a DC. Uh, Solvig, how about Merrick Adam Moore? Merrick Adam Moore, Argent, three axes, in Fess. Okay, we have an, an, an on a chief in battle okay, sable. Oh, okay. Hang on a sec. Do we have a substantial change between two and one and in Fess? Okay, we have three axes in Fess, with an, and we it was okay. two and one. I think Let's that's look. yeah. I think that you're yeah. right. We can we can look at uh, Cena. Here's change of arrangement of the primary charge group, substantial change. In pale, in fess, two and one. They're different categories. That's clear by change of, by substantial change of arrangement. We, we, without getting to the other stuff. Yeah. Um, Connell, Emgentier. Argent for one, three double bitted axes in band for two, I would say. Well, and actually in band is substantial. In band. Did we just lose? Oh, we lost that it. was my uh, computer rebooting itself. Uh, oh. Give me a minute. I will uh, come back in as soon as it uh, reboots it. Boots back up. Uh, hang on a sec. I think I have this computer laptop muted. Because I'm not here. It's telling us the hangout will oh, start an hour ago. <laughs> Great. Um... Yeah, that's because I just have this. Uh, I don't know why the video is not picking up on this. Oh, because I still have it in screen share. Um, yeah, um, my no, desktop just rebooted itself, so as soon as it's back up, um, I'll be right back in. Okay. Don't go, don't go anywhere. I've got a little picture of of it. 
Yeah, that's better than nothing. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not streaming video of this right now because I want to save bandwidth once the other computer comes back up. And I usually keep it muted. So, um, yeah, give me a minute. I think you definitely win the, the best background contest call. Thank you. That's only one of, like, too many of them I've got. I've got more tapestry than I've got wall space. <laughs> That's such a horrible problem to have. Shucks. Yeah. Actually, this is kind of ironic. Wondering that, yeah, there's a painting that my great-grandmother did of a map of the uh, Brandywine watershed. Oh, nice. I have a feeling if she'd been around for the SCA, she probably would have fallen into the Herald category, too. Yeah, here we go. There, yep, coming back in. Fortunately, this computer boots very fast. Um, give me the a sec. Oh, oh, here's something fun for Irene. I'm sewing a trolley top, which I may be doing uh, consultations in. <laughs> Come Penzik. That's fun. This is so much better than my school classes. I can sit here and sew and nobody minds. So I'm ace to trade if they let me do this. All right, give me one sec. I just want to bring up my temperature monitor so I can kind of keep an eye on things. All right, uh, and screen share, and there we are. Okay, where were we? Um, we were on. Uh, where were we? Three X is three double bits. Yeah, I think we're right here. Uh, who was doing Angantir? Uh, who was doing it? That would, that would have been me. That would have been Argent, the one, and the three double bits, and I double bitted X. Okay. And Ben. In Ben. So that's clear. That's right. Okay. Sorry. How about uh, Klaus von Schollenberg? Uh, Argent is one. Two axes is two. Yeah, two uh, axes is substantial, actually. Because yes. Well... Kind of. And here's actually, there's the, that example. Uh, I take that back. There's that example of uh, why we couldn't do three. Read the rest of it. Uh, oh, surmounted by a double bitted axe sable in a chief vert. So, so is yes, that, that would have been three. Three. Is that two primary axes and a third axe that's an overall charge group? Or is that three primary axes? How on earth is a tier surmounted? So they're on the yeah. bottom, and then they've got an axle on top. So I think that's a different dimension. Yeah, think of it like we, that's an old registration from 82. Today we might say it's in sheaf. And the answer is we don't know. There is no answer. That's actually one of those open questions that I was going to submit a test case to, and Reed said, please don't make me hurt you. <laughs> so, so you don't you don't want to have, make Reed go and look in the records and see what the emblazon is? No, that that's not the issue. The issue is if you have two things in uh, salt in saltier and a third one over them, is that an overall charge or is that three primaries? That question uh, has not been answered. Okay. Okay. So um, so we don't know. Uh, however, we have a chief vert, and it's an our. Uh, and uh, that's one DC, and the arrangement is certainly worth at least a DC. Okay? So that's clear. Mm -hmm. um, now, wh where are we next? Uh, who, who was up? Uh, who, who did I just I have to do that? Uh, sorry, I think you did just that. Uh, Solvig, how about Grimbold? 
Okay, so Azure, Semi of Arrows, Benwise. The Semi of Arrows, that's a secondary, isn't it? Yeah. So we're done. And we're done, and the field is one. So now we're out of Argents, which means everything from here on out, we've got one DC for the field, right? We only got to find one more. Um, Connell, how about uh, Wolfric? Well, the Azure, of course. A grinding wheel, also another one. Done. Uh, Thorry? Azure is one, a Paul inverted or, and that's the second one. Yeah. Well, okay. right now we're the three beavers, so that will absolutely yeah. do it. So, right now we're, we're Azure. Can we possibly even have a ghoul, a, 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 a ghoul's axe on Azure? Are you willing to bet that nothing registered in 1972 violated the rule of tincture? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I, I like to be so... Now, quite honestly, uh, I don't... You know, I check with a complex search form, which makes a lot of this easier. But for now, yeah. What I do is, once I'm past my Argent, I ignore the field. I just start reading past that. So, a grinding wheel, clear. A pall, clear. A ram's head, a ram's head. A rose, a triangle, a yale, an eagle. Eight single-bitted axes. That's eight of them. Impale, two double-bitted axes, infes conjoined at the handles, surmounted by another pale-wise. There's, we've got another one of those questions. Is that two or three? And a tower or. Done. There's our tower or. I don't need to think too hard. I'm, I'm going fast because I want to, A, we're running massively behind, and second, I want to demonstrate how fast you can do this. You know, it's, it's all about optimizing. So, continuing. On a bend, don't care. On a chevron, on a chevron. Seven axes. Three double-bitted axes in Paul inverted, hafts to center within a bordure or clear. Uh, you know, you go fast, then you stop and think about it. Then you go fast again. Uh, check here: two boars, a lion, a chevron, a dove on a chevron. Three ax. Oh, ghouls, three axes, argent. Look at that. Is wow. that a conflict? That's a direct That's... conflict. Mm -hmm. We've got nothing here. Wait a minute, ghouls, three axes. Oh, I'm sorry, I've got my colors reversed. No, that's fine. Yeah, got your colors reversed. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm like, how did I miss that conflict on chicken? Because it's not a conflict. Because it's 10.30 and I'm tired. Because All right. It's two, two color shifts so that... Uh, it's one it for the field and one for tincture of the primary charge group. Okay. Yeah. Two DCs. All right. Three double-bitted axes or. Done. There are. A phoenix. Um, when I'm going fast like this... If you don't understand why I'm skipping over something, stop me. Please. That, that's the point. Mm -hmm. um, a boar's head, a chevron, a chevron, a clenched gauntlet, a phoenix, a wyvern, three axes, and an chief. Done. Uh, a bear. In pale, three axes. They're in, they're in pale. Um, two double-bitted axes and a double-bitted axe inverted counterchanged. That's interesting. They we get one DC for the field, and there's at least one DC for changing the color of uh, of some of them because some of them are going to be purple, right? There's going to be two on top uh, that's that are purple, and one on the bottom that's argent. Well, either way, that's that's clear. They're a complete change of color. Here's this is another example of why three to, is a bad search term, right? Two axes and a double and a, and one x. The word three doesn't appear there, even though it's three. On a chevron, an orca. Two pairs of axes. Three axes, bendwise, sinister, one and two, argent, and a wolf. Well, we've got a wolf and a field. Um, six battle axes. An axe surmounted by two axes within a bordure. Uh, three axes, blades of sinister, and a mullet. Three pairs of double-bitted axes. Three pairs, that's six axes. Semi of axes, lots of axes. Uh, cross, a dragon, five double-bitted axes. Four broad axes, a fret, an axe, and two axes, or we've got color and field. Um, three double bitted axes per poor, color and field. Inbend three anvils, a bear, a dolphin, on a chief, on a bizant, a paul, a paul, uh, inbend sinister an X, doing some kind of somersault and another X doing some kind of somersaults, and a third X over all of it. Uh, all of the X's are or, we're clear, one for the field, one for color. Uh, three X's in pole, hilts to center, or surmounted by dove's head, clear. A chevron, on a bend, on a pale, on a triskelion, two X's surmounted by double-bitted X, 
Kale Wise and Chief Three Mall, let's open up what you are. We missed something somewhere because there was a conflict I wanted to discuss. Um, where is now might be a good time to search for three. Huh? Now might be a good time to search for three or no, two. It, we could, but I actually have it written down. It's okay. this one. I somehow... Uh, ah, because... Um, Hengist Gromaldic, uh, or however you pronounce that. Um, um, Argent, three axes ghouls, half crossed... No, that's not it. Paul, uh, inverted sable. Yes, half... That's there one two. for arrangement. One for arrangement, one for color. Okay, now here's what's going on. What color are the axes? Sable. No, three axes ghouls. Well, the good the right are, are sable. What on earth, what earth is in Paul inverted sable? The hafts. Oh, the, the hafts, hafts are. are oh, the hafts are, hafts are a detail. Well, the hafts are not a detail. The hafts are pretty much half of that charge. So you this is a this is a maybe, and I don't know the answer to it. Are these axes considered half red, half black? In that case, it's clear, because we've changed half the charge group. Are they considered all red? Are they considered all black? I don't know. If this was a real submission, this is where I'd start a precedent down. Well, really, what I did was uh, text at Istvan, and he doesn't know either, so it's time to do a precedent down. Okay? That's one I would put... I, if I was doing this as a real submission, I'd have to pull that one up and go look for it. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. But other than that, we've got no conflicts. It's clear. So maybe clear, maybe not. Got to do more work. Can look with that. All right, moving on. Somebody plays on that. So it's top to bottom. So it's. Purple, okay. whale, wavy, wavy, or a and three goals. All right. So first of all, it's perfect. Someone said propel. Oh, that was me. Excuse me. This is horizontal. Wavy, or in ghouls, three chalices counter change. And you can tell the color of the chalices because you've already listed. Yeah. Four of the four rules at its top to bottom. Yeah, and uh, for three items, two and one is the default arrangement. So, what's our field? It would be the uh, perfect wavy uh, or and ghouls with a pl uh, plain wavy line. Or... Right. So it's perfect or and ghouls with a wavy line, is the way I would put it. Okay. So the complex that... line is. Yeah. Bec um, what's our primary charge group? Chalices. No, chalices. Yeah. Cups. So, so, cups, there's three of them. They're ghouls and ore. You know, there's a mix of colors. And they're two and one, is the arrangement. Are they pale wise? They're pale wise. Are they compact chargers or long? I'm guessing they're probably compact and uh, orientation doesn't matter. I may be wrong. If it becomes important, I would look it up. So, how do we find them? Uh, Where do we go look? We can go look in the index of uh, the alphabetical index again. Yeah, and I'm going to go right to Chalice because that's a Chalice. And what does Chalice say? C cup. Oh, that's exciting. So we have hey, cup one Argent, cup one Azure. Yes, you actually do have to check the cup ones. I'll explain in a two, three more slides why that's important. Let's look at cups two or more for now. Okay. 208 of them. Holy cow. Why did I pick this category? <laughs> um, the procedure is the same, right? Field this three goblets conjoined and pull inverted bowls to center same. Clear. This, is, this one is going to be a pain in the head and a half to ch conflict charge. That's why I picked it. I picked it. I want to demonstrate. Some of these are huge, and you have to go through a bunch of them. Is there anything we can do to s speed this one up? Not much. We've, we've established why we can't search for three. We can't search for counterchanged, because what if this was, uh, 
you know, not counter change? What if this was a field that's profess, argent, and sable, but someone stuck a red, red and uh, yellow cops in it, right? So sometimes you just have to schlock. There's one I wanted to demonstrate. Now, for something like this, even with a herald stick, or if you have like a low spot, uh, like a hot spot uh, over at an event, if you know it's going to be this complex, would you recommend, say, getting back to the client after the event? Or well, the if, it's a, if it's like a normal day event, yeah, maybe. Or, you know, or if you have someone that you can text and say, hey, can you do a quick conflict check for me? Remember, the better way to do this is the complex search form. It's mm -hmm. a lot faster. Mm -hmm. With a complex search form, I reduced this conflict check to about six or seven that I had to hand check. Okay. So, I'm not... I love the complex search form. I highly recommend it. However, A, not everyone is able to figure it out. It's kind of either your... My experience has shown that either your brain works that way or it doesn't. You know, if you have a background in IT, programming, that sort of thing, you have a better chance of doing it than not. But although that's not a guarantee either way, but some people, I know lots of people that have tried for years and they just can't do it. So the number, that's number one. Number two, this is the fundamental. You really can't do complex search form unless you can do this. Because a complex search form is not anything fundamentally different. It's just a way to do this faster. Right. So let's take a look at Tessa Tazzy. Um, sorry, is that a conflict? Uh... Her chevron would be the first um first suffers. Yeah. Uh, two cups is not from base, which means that there's two cups on the lower half, so that one's clear. No, 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 no. Read it slower. Visualize it. Her chevron or in ghouls. So there's a uh, chevron, so it's a gold pointy thing sticking up with no, red. Right. It's not, not, right. it's not a chevron. Got that or chevron. It's yellow on top and red on the bottom, just like here. Yeah. So we have two cups and issuing from base a demi sun. So where are the cups? Oh, the two cups are on top, and issue it for base a demi sun is the lower thing is a sun, so yes, that is out of conflict. Is it a conflict? There's a difference in the background, and there's a difference in the third, uh, third okay. chart. You're correct, but there's a footnote here. Remember, normally to get a DC, you have to change half or more. Are we changing half or more of the charge group? Because we have three charges. we have one thing that is in the lower half that does count yeah, as half. Exactly. That's exactly the point I want. Because if we change, say, the top right one from a chalice to a demi-sun, that would still be a conflict. That's only one. That would be less than 50%. But when you have two and one, the lower is clear. Or if you have charges on opposite sides of a field division, each side counts as clear. So if we had 12 on top and one on the bottom, that one on the bottom is still considered half the charge group. All right? Does that make sense to everybody? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Only if you apply the three seconds to glance at the shield is that a friend or foe rule. Well, yeah. That, that seems to answer most of the conflict questions I've come up with. That's not a bad way to look at it. All right. How about this one? Here's a fun one. Someone blazing that. Uh. Curvand, Argentine, or three, three something so things Azure. Right. I want to say three bands, Azure. They're actually bars. Okay. The, the, the diminutive of a bar is a diminutive of a fess. One fess, two or more bars. You may also hear the term bar gemel, which just means two. I don't know why bar two gets a special term. So these are bars, but for conflict purposes, they're considered fesses. So, what's our field? Per, 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 per band, ar, argent, and or. Yep. Um, plain line, right? Yep. What's our primary charge group? That would be the three bars, uh, azure. Yeah. And we would actually call them fesses. Because the tincture of the background doesn't conflict because it's got the division, right? What do you mean? Well, you've got the two metals side by side. That's okay. 
You can it's okay it. because it's a field and it's on a division. Yeah. It's a field okay. divided into two equal parts. Therefore, you can have me two metals or two colors. You can do it with two. You can do it with quarterly and with saltier, per saltier. Anything else, you've got to have good contrast. Um, and poles are special because they just are. All right. So let's say, so let's go back to our system here, and let's look for bars. And if we go to bar, it says CFES, okay, because the, a bar is considered to be a diminutive form of a FES, which is to say it's just like a FES, only not. So we have a lot of FESs. FES 1, uncharged, plain line. Do we Wait need a minute, to we need to start on FES 3, don't we? Yeah, so do we need to look at FES 1s? No. no. Yes, because a FES 1 would be almost the same space on the shield as the FES 3. Does, doesn't matter. How many, if you had a single FES, how many charges in your primary charge group? One. How many charges in the primary charge group here? Three. One. Three. That's a substantial oh, that's three. three? Really? Yeah, that counts as three. Huh. Yeah. It's a little weird, but yeah, it's three. Uh, so so we don't care about FES 1, we don't care about FES 2. Let's, well, look at that. We have four or more. So we can, there's, do we care about four or more? No, we don't care about those guys. So let's look at FES 3. Hey, look at that. Only 51. Uh, so, someone want to try doing this fast? Uh, Argent and Dolphin, that's a no. Argent and Stakes Head, no. Argent and, and Chief 3 bars? No. No, because that's three know. bars on top. We've got three bars in the middle. Right. So what's what are our DCs? Let's spell this out because this is an important one. Uh, the field and the placement of the primary charge. Yeah, position. Okay. Position. Do you guys remember forced versus unforced moves? Is this an unforced move? Could those bars have unforced. been in the same spot? Could could in Ruark the blinds device? Could they have not been in chief? Yes, they could have not been in, chief. been in chief. In our device, could they have been in chief? No. Yes, they could. Yeah, they could. We could have drawn them in chief, right? Yeah. We just chose not to. So the, nothing is forcing them, them to be where they are. right? If we had a device per fess, uh, Argent and Azure in chief, three bars Azure, could those be in the middle? No. No. So that would be a forced move. We would not get a DC because it couldn't have been in this location. And you've got to look at it both ways. All right, continuing. Fast. Someone pick up with fast with Drust. Uh, Argent, three pars. And a pale. The, the end of pale is the second DC, so moving on. All right, so I actually have no idea what three bars and a pale is. It's a recent registration. I'd have to register it. I'd have to look at it. Probably it's four co-primaries, and therefore we're clear. However, what color are they? Sable. They're black. Yeah, so I don't really care what the heck those things are doing. Right? We've got one for the field, one for the fact that they're black with some stuff on them. Platy. Keep going. I'm in the middle of something, Mark. Yes. You're loudly in the middle of something. Okay, Arjun. You've got the three bars azure, but the overall a horse rampant would be uh, the second one. Yep, but we skipped one. Someone... Uh, Nope. So, you want to do Mary in the Black? Okay, Mary in the Black. Argent, three bars, Azure, between... Okay, okay we're done. We're done. Field and some stuff. Um, let's keep moving fast. Connell, uh, or, or sorry, somebody, pick it up. Uh, Katsukome is Argent, three bars, wavy, that's two DCs. Yep. Same thing with the one right below yep. it. Argent, three bars, wavy. Next. Again, Argent three bars wavy. Okay, next. Argent three water uh, buckets instead of three Good. bars done. Yeah. Next. Argent Molity or three bars are against. Um, I'm not sure what Molity or means. Molity or means scattered yellow stars. Secondary charge group, semi. So that would be Molity is charge. short for semi of molds. Ah. So that would be a secondary DC, so yes, yeah. that's not in conflict. Yeah. Oops. 
Azure Lymphat, uh, Lymphat in sale, done. Yep. Azure in a mullet of eight points, done. So Azure. feel free to jump in as well. Yeah. Azure Tower Argent, done. Next. Azure and Fess, two oak trees, done. Next. Azure on the mountain of three peaks, done. Next. Okay. Argent, three bars. And in chief, three mullets done. Yeah. Sorry? Uh, Azure, three bars to Canty, done. Density. And again, Azure, three bars, wavy, done. And again. And then going to carry. Azure, three dolphins, done. Keep going. Ghouls in pale, three bars, wavy, done. Ghouls, three bars, or done. Or a scallop shell, done. Or three... I don't know what those are, but they're not bars. Well, I actually think barulets is just another term for bar. It's oh. maybe even thinner bars. They're like, you know, bars are already a thin little fesses, so bar I'm going to think that barulets are, like, really skinny ones. Okay, um, but it's or background and yeah. red... Uh, bar-like things, which is going to be enough to pass conflict. Yeah. There's the the flag. See, they're like th three really skinny things. Oh, okay. Uh, was this pulled into the database so that we know that this specific thing can't yes. pass? Yes. This is a flag? protected, see, it says important non-SCA flag. Got so, it. So, this is a real-world one. Uh, that, all right. So, do you want to pick up with Zephaniah there? If I could actually see see see, see the the blazon, that would be nice. I Let's I, I see a pic I just see a picture of you. All right, I'm sorry. It's it's got to be a connectivity. Shikonel. Uh Which one are we on? Zephaniah. Or three bars wavy done. Keep going. Or three bars wavy azure done. Or three bars wavy rules done. Profess and argent vert. That's one. Impale three bars ghouls done. Well, in pale three bars, I mean, bar, the three bars are kind of have to be in pale, right? But it's the two foxes that get us the rest. Yeah. By the way, would this be legal under today's rules? Which one are you looking at? Pierre uh, de Novis. Profess Argent and Vert in pale three bars ghouls and two foxes passant in pale Argent. No. No, because that in pale three bars ghouls and two foxes makes it sound like they're all part of a pr the same primary charge group, right? And one right. of our rules uh, says you're not allowed to have ordinaries and non-ordinaries in the same charge group. So bars it's also are ordinary. 1980, so. Yeah, it is 1980. Exactly. All right, somebody do Bernard. Perfess embattled, uh, embattled sable in or that's one boar's head two done. Yeah. See red. Razga, Persfess, Swavy, Azure, and Argent, one. Issuant from Lion Division, Lion Rampet, done. Yep. Perfess, Wavy, and Ghoul, uh, Wavy, Ghouls, and Argent, one. Inhale a stock of wheat, done. Yep. Perfess, oh, that was the last one. Perpale, Argent, and Azure, two bars, countercharge, survived to buy a goblet, done. Yeah. Well, you can stop at countercharge because. If the bars are counterchanged, it means there's something other than a solid blue color, right? Yep. There's your picture. Uh, next, and in fact, there's a good example. The next one, Thomas Edward Dudley. Per pale, argent, and stable, that would be the one. Three bars counterchanged would be two. Yeah, because they've got to be some variation of stable and argent, which is not blue. Oh, this is a nice one. Per pale, argent, invert, three bars, lozenge counterchange. I don't even want to visualize that. All I'm seeing is like 70s Paisley designs. Yeah, uh, when I see Longevity, I think of more of like an uh, Rondell than... Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know who Reese Quill is. Hopefully he's not watching this and we're insulting his heraldry, but, uh, um, you know, there, there's obviously stuff going on on those bars. Okay? Um, continuing. Aiden McAlpin. Propel purple and argent, ermine vert, that's one, three bars counter change, that's two. Yep. Propel uh, uh, purple and argent, there's one, in base, three barlets, done. Okay. All right, I'm going to move on because we're just a little low on time. 
uh, I will tell you that this is clear. So if anyone wants it, it's yours. All right. This is an important point. Plays on that. Um. Perfess or an uh, uh, or an argent. Now that's when I start getting interested on what those charges are. I have no idea what to call that. That's a fret. That's a fret, correct. That's a fret for pure and a, and a good vert. Yes. Very good. For fess or an argent, a fret cooped, because the frets naturally spread out. Right, fret, okay, it's cooped. A purpur and a gout, or gout, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, vert. It can also be called a gout de wheel. I have no idea how to pronounce it. Uh, but gout color, de, col de wheel. De de wheel. wheel. Uh, Thank you. Um, colored drops have special names, just like how colored round downs. So, right. And the current practice is to, is to actually use regular tincture names on them, but there's stuff in the R in the and yes. O and A which has got the funny names. Yes and no. The current practice seems to be to do to keep whichever version the submitter used. Oh, so really? If the submitter, yeah. If the submitter blazoned it as God, good de wheel, de wheel, uh, we will leave it. Now, if Kingdom changed it, then we're, we're you know we're not really interested in what Kingdom the Kingdom thinks. But uh, we will generally let the submitter do what they want in that respect, most of the time. Uh, anyway, field. Uh, again, that will be a perfess with uh, the argent in, uh, or in uh, argent, one pale on, uh, plain yeah. line. All right. Now, what's our primary charge group? Our primary charge group is, is the fret and the goat. Yes. Yeah. Two primary charges. There's one fret purple fret and one green Good. So, how do we check this? It makes no sense to check fret first and then sub uh, check to good? No, we actually have to do both. Because think about it this way. What if we had two frets? Would that be a conflict? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right? What if we had two uh, get, two goods? Would that be a conflict? That would also be a conflict. Would also be a conflict. Yeah. We've got to check it com separately under frets and separately under goots. Okay. Friends don't let friends register devices with dissimilar primary charges. They're a pain in the neck. Um, so, here's our frets. And we can start with fret purpur. Why, because why not? And we start looking for things. Now, there's only eight of them, so somebody do this. Ermin, a fret per pleur, so that's one difference for yeah, the background. Only, well, how many primary charges do we have here? One primary charge. A fret, fret per which is two oh, primary no, charges. We have two Done. primary charges. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, we're going down. Right. No, we don't even. Yeah. The the roundel is on a chief. That's a tertiary. We don't even. We don't need to read that far. Remember, it's about efficiency, so we want to read as little as possible. All right. Okay, Lois yeah. under Baumhecke. The next one. Yeah. Somebody do it. Okay. Ghouls. That'd be the one. In Ben to lace bob uh, lace bobbins too. Done. All right. How about the next one? Sorry. Or trefle vert. Yeah. So trefle is another one of those spe special ones. Semi of trefoils vert. Trefoils are like little shamrock looking things. So the little. Yep. So that's gold with three green those, and a fret and grail purple. Because the fret is a primary charge with the three trefoils, I think that would not be in conflict. Okay. So first of all, we could have stopped after trefoils, right? Because the, tr the scattered trefoils are a secondary charge group, one for the field, one for uh, adding strewn charges. But also, how many primary charges here? One. How one. many do we have? Two. 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 Substantial yeah. change of primary charges, SC. Uh, middle Kingdom. Or, that's one, a fret, purple, ew. Um, you're going to get the field division for the first one. How many I primary charges? Two. No, or middle kingdom has one. Well, um, for the middle kingdom, there's yeah. one. For yeah. your example, there's two. Right, no, 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 I'm talking about, yeah. So, it's clear. It's clear by change of number, right? Right. 
One Fred versus a Fred and a Goop. So it's it's not in conflict despite the fact that that's an award? No, it's not in conflict because this has one primary charge and we have two primary charges. Okay. That's it. We don't care who's registered it. Middle Kingdom doesn't get any more protection than anyone else does. Yeah, the, o the only thing that gets more protection than anything else is the Red Cross, and that's because there's mundane laws in that. Um, so, Middle Kingdom is clear. Petros the Unmerciful. Or a Freddy Perpler. So, Freddy means that the whole background is covered in these frets, and there's a special rule here because normally you would think that that would make it secondary or something. There's no difference between a single Fred and Freddy because in period they were used interchangeably. That's really confusing. Yeah. On the gulp, Dexter Gauntlet, other Santa Fe's wise or so it's a... A gulp is a purple round L, a purple circle. So we've got all kinds of stuff going on, right? With a They're gauntlet... Very... I want to say yes, that would yeah, not it's very be conflict. It's not just so very, very clear. There's like four DCs in there. Right? All right. Tonwin Furchmorian. A per Chevron Argent with that Freddy purple and Verd. So the Chevron, I would say, would be the one. Well, the field is one. Mm -hmm. The top of it has a purple Freddy, which is the same thing as a purple fret. But keep going. What's the next thing say? A uh, Chevron or... Yeah, on the chevron. The chevron is a primary, is a central ordinary primary charge. Uh, frets are weird. Purple a tar, uh, torch argent. That's about as far as I got on that one. Yeah, we're done with that. And dear oh. purple and a wing cat. Done. Done. Yeah. Okay. So we need to check the other frets. We're going to, in the interest of expediting things, we're going to go look at gouts or boots. I don't know which one is the pronunciation correct. I call them gouts. So we have lots of guts. Argent, Azure, Fur, Ghouls, Multicolor, or we gotta check them all. Because again, it could be um, Well, you couldn't have an Argent boot. Probably not, unless it was registered in nineteen seventy two. Right, because we have to check well, the code because of old stuff. With conflicts, remember there's lots of stuff that's registered that's illegal now. I would be willing to skip uh, Argent Goot, yeah, probably you could skip um, War Goot, maybe. I would certainly start with Vert and look for closer conflicts. There are you, no War Goots. It's not, it's not a live link. It is. 17 Vert. items for Goot Vert. Yeah, yeah 17 of them. There's Or Goots, there's Vert Goots. Okay, I was just wondering if I didn't have a line underneath it. I may just be looking back. So there's like 17 of them, and you see, it's listed here as a good de wheel. Same thing as a good word. Well, it's right. just a good um, field list, so that passes. Yeah, we're not going to go through all of these. It's already We've already been at this for an hour and a half, and I've scheduled this for an hour. The important takeaway from this is you've got to check both kinds. Okay. Okay. There's no yeah. way to shortcut this. This is one that drives me crazy even when using the complex search form because you have to check first with frets and then separately with boots. So, so when they have, have more than one kind of charge in the primary charge group, you have to check each one of the, each yeah. one of the types of charges. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's a pain in the neck. It's also not particularly period. Mo very, it's, I can't think of any period devices that had dissimilar primary charges, especially over a partition of these. It would almost always be two of the same or three of the same. It happened rarely, but very, very, very unusual. This is very, you know, typically typical SC kind of thing. All right. Um, so. Yeah, and I got a text from uh, Marie saying we can't ignore per blue cats because. There could be a uh, really old registration with a cat Azure Fimbriate. Uh, that's a good point. That's the other, That's oh, another reason that's we have to right. check uh, for weird colors. So we really can't skip those colors too. All right. So let's revisit our old friend here uh, with the three axes. Only now they're blue. So we've gone through all this. We know there's three axes. There's really nothing else going on. And here's why I wanted to show it to you. 
let's go to Axis. Axis. And we've looked at three or more, and we've cleared it. Okay? There's no conflicts here. Okay? But now, here's what happens. And this is what, because I was double checking my conflict checks a different way, I found it. If we go to X2 and look for Simon von Beckham. How about this here? Simon von Beckham. Argent, two double bitted battle axes, and a Phoenix Azure. Is that a conflict? If yes. Phoenix Azure, they've changed half of the. It depends on how they're arranged. If they changed half of the. Field or not? Half of the field is Arch. The Phoenix, Arch. it's two and then one, so the Phoenix is replacing the lowest axe, which means it's only changed half. I only see one. In yeah. color, I think it then, Right, but then, if it's the bottom one, it counts as half. Right, so you, we get one DC for changing the bottom axe to a Phoenix. Do we have any other DCs? No. 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 This is a conflict. It's all blue. This is a conflict. And was it in three axes? No, it was in two. And that's why we have to check lower numbers, because yeah. because of dissimilar charge groups, which is why we should all hate them, but we still have to live with. So you don't have to change check higher. If we had three axes, we don't need to check four, because there's no way four could conflict with three, but two could, because it could be two axes and a phoenix, and one could, because it could be an axe and two phoenixes, which is still not enough to get us a substantial change. So we always have to check the lower numbers. Okay? So we skipped okay. that when we were doing it earlier because I wanted to show you this example. That's a good example. Yeah. And th if I was, you know, I found it with the complex search form. It took me a while to figure out how the heck could that be when it's not in here. Because I did all of the, when I was preparing this, I did all of these the ordinary way and then all of these the complex search form way. And... This, it took me a few minutes to figure out what the heck is going on. All right. So, summary. Remember, we're always checking from the primary charge group. Okay? We do, um, in, you will see some people who will take, you know, something like this and say, okay, well, let's go into... And this is the way you used to have to do it back in the old days. At least that's the way I did it. So, this is per uh, FES. So, let me look under P for... And you use per that FES, to and uh, that's under the... field division per FES, and let's start working in here. Why? Ow. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that doesn't have cups, we don't care about the field, right? We care about the primary charge group. We care about the. Um, we care about everything else, but we always work off the primary charge group. You know, and I frequently will. I will see something. You know, um, I saw this at Penzik a bunch. And even I'll see this in commentary sometime too. They'll have something like this, and they will be saying, "Well, I checked under lions, under per pale, under chiefs, and under escalops." That's great, but you just did five times more work than you need. Okay. Now, back when I got, when I started in heraldry in the '90s, you had to do that because you you couldn't. There was no such thing as a substantial change. So changes to the primary charge group were just as significant or just as insignificant as changes to the secondaries and tertiaries. We had to work a lot harder. Okay. Basically, um, we just simplified things even on our end. Yeah, you know, I, now I don't remember RFS the or or even I think that's when I started was the previous one before RFS, but under some of the old rules, this would be a conflict. Yeah. Okay, because you'd only get one DC for changing the line of the to the sh uh, anchor, and so then you would have to check the field and the chiefs and the scallops. Thankfully, we live, live in the world of Cena. We don't need to deal with it. Not our problem anymore. So, always check from the primary charges. Remember, for mixed groups, you've got to check both, or all three. or Well, it can't be all three, because that would be flat machine. But you've got to check both. So that's that uh, fret and goot example. And you've got to check lower numbers, okay? Because of because you might run into that phoenix. Okay, that's pretty much that. I'm going to finish with my standard final thoughts, which you've all seen before if you've seen my videos. Um, we worry about registrable versus authentic. Um, 
we have to do submissions have to be registrable. They don't have to be authentic. It's nice if we can talk the client into being authentic, but you know we can't force it. That Goot and Fret very not very authentic. I can guarantee you it looks nothing like any period heraldry, at least not the, like any that I've ever seen. But it's registrable. Okay. Um, and remember, it's about customer service, right? We want to help our clients. We want to help registrations happen. When you're consulting, help them fight, figure out things that they like that's registrable. When you're commenting, look for reasons to allow. If you look at my comments, when I see a conflict, I'll usually say, maybe not always, but I try to say, this is a conflict because of this. But if you add a chief, it's clear. Or if you charge the shoulder of the beast, it's clear. What does that mean? That means I went out and conflict checked it that way as well. Is that extra work I have to do? No, but it's a lot more useful. Because when that consulting herald goes back to the client and says, we got to do something, and says, what? He says, here's some ideas. You know, we can do this, this, and that, and it's already been conflict checked. We, I know, you know, now I'm giving you suggestions that I know work. Because the last thing you want to do is, you want to tell the, you know, and I've, we've all been there. You go, you go to the client, you figure out a device, you submit it, it's, it bounces, it's a conflict. And the client says, what the heck kind of herald are you? Why didn't you catch it? Well, so, oops, sorry, I screwed up. Fine, let's put a chief on it. And now it bounces a second time, you're going to have a very unhappy client. Okay, so if as commenters we can uh, provide suggestions for how to fix things, it's helpful. Not just conflicts, you know, style issues, uh, you know, this is not a recognizable lion, here's a better picture. Or, you know, you're not allowed to put red, you know, that's color on color, but why, you know, but if you make this change, it'll be good. Things like that. Much more helpful than just saying no. Okay? We want a helpful reputation. So my contact info is here as always. Uh, I will post the handout uh, on the web page as soon as I get a chance. And uh, it will probably be later today. And that concludes the prepared portion of this uh, evening. Questions? It's gonna take a little while to absorb in. I'm it's, sure. It's a lot of this. This is this is kind of the culmination of everything that comes before. So. Um. Um. Yes, we're leaving the blue Heisenberg now. Why am I not drinking coffee? All oh, right, because I don't want to be able to not sleep tonight. I I can't think of anything. I'm sorry. That's okay. You can all. You guys know where to find me. Um, you know, please do. It's um, you know, I'm always happy to take questions as and when I can. Uh, let me see if anyone is poking anything from outside. Uh, just checking to see if anyone's. Uh... Nope. I don't see anyone uh, with with, uh, with pointers other than the one that from Marie that no we can't ignore blue lions from way back when. Let me bring that back up so we know what uh, so people know what we're talking about. Because um, they used to fimbriate lions. Yeah. So when when we're when we're talking about this here, we were saying you know. Well, we only need to check yellow and uh, white and such because it couldn't possibly be red or blue. Well, it could because it could have been a blue lion with white fimbration with a white, you know, kind of border halo around. Not allowed today. You're only allowed to. Uh, you're not allowed to fimbrate complex charges, and the line is certainly complex. But if this was a circle, we could still keep fimbrating. So you you can't ignore the colors. And back in the day, they could have been fimbrating. Or like I said, they could have just been wrong. That does happen. Um, okay, so that that's uh, that's the point uh, that got emailed into us. Um, nope, hold on a sec. I'm getting something. Ah, yes, Marie's poking me. Uh, yes. Ah, she's poking me to say that she saw me fix that. Okay, so that's that. Uh
uh, let me stop the hangout and uh,